Hi, this is WG5L, and with the assistance of my son, uh, W5JBL, uh, we're going to give you a demonstration of how to do crossband repeating with uh, the Kenwood uh, D710. The Kenwood uh, radio is a dual band radio that is very popular uh, primarily because of its APRS capabilities but it also has the ability to do crossband repeating. Uh, as you notice there's two sides to the radio and um, what we have here is this is a local weather repeater that we use uh, at our location and this is our our club repeater and what we're going to do is demonstrate uh, how you uh, change the the settings of this radio for crossband repeat first thing we want to do, and I, I've already programmed this radio for, for s several frequencies in memory, so we're not going to demonstrate how to do that, but I'm going to dial this side of the radio to um, a memory location that I have for crossband, which, uh, which I've chosen 445-900. You'll also notice that uh, this T up here in the um, uh, this portion of the radio indicates that uh, I've got this set for tone encoding and um, in this case it's set to 136.5 uh, but it could be set to any any tone that you want. Um, also you'll notice on this side of the radio where we have the the repeater frequency uh, for our club repeater we uh, have it tone encoded and there's a positive offset because that, that's what this frequency uses. On this side you'll notice there is no plus sign or minus sign which indicates that this is a simplex frequency. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the um, into the menu of the Kenwood and how you do that is you press the function key which is the the second lower key over from the left, you press that and then press the left knob and that puts you into the menu screen. What you want to do is di using the knob on the left to dial to the repeater selection of the menu and press the knob and then rotate that knob till you get to the repeater mode and the repeater mode, there's three different modes. You, you want to press the, the, the knob again and it allows you to select what mode you want. There's three different modes. There's one where you lock the transmission on the A side of the, of the radio or you can lock the transmission to the B side. This is uh, an indication of, or this particular arrangement is where you would uh, uh, use this for a um, um, uh, for a half duplex uh, type of repeating, but what we're going to do in this case is we're going to set it to crossband, which would allow you to do a full full duplex uh, crossband. So we press the knob again, and that sets that into that mode. To get out of the menu, you press the far left bottom key which is the escape key and that puts you back to uh, uh, the normal mode for this radio. Uh, you dial in the frequency like we've already done on on, on either side uh, but you um, uh, in this case I have it set to the left side and and for this particular radio you have to turn the radio off and um, and then there's a key sequence you have to go through. So um, you'll notice that this third button from the left says tone. So you want to keep that in mind that that you're going to need to know that third button. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the radio off over here on the right. And then we're going to press and hold that third button at the bottom the tone button and press the power on button again and that sets the radio into crossband mode. Now how you know that 
is you'll notice that the press to talk indication um, is blinking and you'll notice that the radio is locked I can't if I if I turn this this knob to try to control the radio it's not going to let me do that so it's the radio is locked at this point so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, handheld and you'll notice that the handheld is um, well I just got it off frequency there we go the handheld is is on 445.900 which is which is our simplex uh, UHF crossband frequency that I'm going to talk from this handheld to this radio and then this radio is then going to in turn uh, transmit to the uh, to the VHF repeater and then I'll hear I'll hear the the um, uh, I'll hear it back so let's let's try this so you'll notice when I key up this handheld uh, that both sides of the mobile radio will uh, will key up in in terms of transmission this is WG5L testing via crossband and you'll you, you'll notice that uh, you heard the double tone which is what our our um, our club repeater uses that they, that actually came through the the handheld mic uh, the mobile radio volume is turned down so uh, so we were sure that we were getting it back through the um, uh, through the radio so this concludes our demonstration of the Kenwood uh, D710 and crossband repeating.